Yeah. 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 I mean, let her. <laughs> okay, let's she go. said adopt. I just want to see the rest of her view. But. Well, I mean, <laughs> okay, so here, I, I, have, talk. I have a view, okay? okay? <laughs> because I, okay, yeah. I'll get real personal, but I think it's relevant. So, also from Arizona, Roe v. Wade. It doesn't, it doesn't not exist there anymore. You, you have to be able to get an abortion before like eight to nine weeks, mm -hmm. but you can still get one. I know because I've had two and I hate my life for it, okay? It, you, I don't know if half the women that have gotten abortions ever would do it again. Mm -hmm. And most of them get them to, more than once. Mm -hmm. And that's really sad. Now, the people who support choice. the right to get an abortion, why do so many of the girls I know have kids though? Mm -hmm. You know? Because they still wanted to have those kids. But why are you fighting for this woman's, like any, any woman or any women to get one if you're not going to get one yourself? Because it's their choice. Because you it's support their, all women. I support regardless of if they agree but with you or not. But choosing that is Freaking fucking hard. Yeah, I had an abortion. I am a I mother be and I've had anything. an abortion. I've wanted yeah. to be a mother since I was two years old. It's one of the most deepest things popcorn. to me. I had to have an abortion <laughs> because um, the situation I was in as a teenager yeah, being abused and uh, being threatened with homelessness if I kept the baby, I had no choice. And I'm not going to say I regret it because I don't know where I'd be today if I moved into a homeless shelter at that age. But yeah. I can tell you, motherhood is extremely valuable to me. I yes. want it more than anything. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to have this woman's babies. But like, I. Um, I had to have that abortion at that time, and so that's why if any other woman in this society, if they want to be childless cat ladies, I'm going to applaud them and support them all yeah. the way through. If they want to have a baby like me, I also am going to do that, and I'm going to support them having a baby in whatever means they want to do so. I applaud you wanting to be a mother. <laughs> okay, I, I like, should have gone about it a different way. I should have, because I actually have two, my two friends, they are... Okay, this is so confusing. One of them's a lesbian, and the other one is a trans man. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they just, they work. Okay. But they are, they're my best friends. My two best friends, one growing yeah. up. The other one is my best friend that I made as an adult. Mm -hmm. If I would have had the kid that I, you know, wanted yeah. to, but I just, it's just my stupid brain and my stupid choice. No one forced me to do it, but I should have, uh, I wanted to give them the kid. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think that, you know, they're great with kids. They, they would have made great parents, but mm -hmm. I just... I chose to be selfish. So what about the fact when people don't know they're pregnant that early? Yeah. You, I mean... I, I didn't know till I was okay. 13 weeks. And that's common and I mean, normal. Yeah. Did Most people do not know. I kept them. Uh -huh. The okay. first time earlier yeah. in my life, I did. I had two abortions. <laughs> and then I didn't find out till 13 weeks. I took about 10 tests for yeah. two, three months. That came up negative. Wow. Yeah. And I was already 13 weeks. Has anybody, so, has anybody here not had an abortion? Good Just, for you. Do you? And you? And I will say, this is very true, you can probably fight me on it, but um, the majority of women who have abortions have actually already have a live child. It's because they, they don't have the financial capacity, they don't have the emotional support to take on another child. But the vast majority of people who have abortions are not childless. They already have children, and it's an extremely hard decision for them. And I so know. I, I will say, hard... speaking to the choir, I know. <laughs> it's a hard decision either way. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why, why bring a baby into this world that is unwanted, at, ends up in the system, abused, assaulted, who knows what other things? Oh, that's, or, that's you know yeah. what, in either way, either the baby or the, the mother, they're both victims. No mm -hmm. matter how they got pregnant, no one should be forced to stick with that choice. And I don't think I can think of any law that governs anything a man can do with their body. I, agree. I was just going to say to toss it out. Kamala asked that question, actually. She said, name one law that governs a man's body. Well, I, I don't know if you can answer it, it but you guys no one's been able to is answer what, that. What do you guys <laughs> think of the, you know, well, I'm, I'm counter, <laughs> counter, every man get a vasectomy? To be, so to I, be. No. I actually no. reject your premise. So it's a sneaky, loaded language. It's fun. It's fun to kind of do mental exercises like that, right? What law governs a man's body? Well, we're not governing your body. No, we're governing them. the body of somebody who's not you, and telling you you can't destroy the but body. body Hang on, it's like you gotta let big. me finish if it, you ask me a question. I'm sorry, but it's it looked just, like a freaking baby. So, no, it's just because you're looking little, at the. But no. We're playing God, and it's yeah. just so. A so anyway, so back to the propaganda is wild. So so back to this, <laughs> right? So just to answer your question, yeah. uh, no, they're not governing your body. They're governing the rights of what is considered to be another human being inside of your body. So the human carrying that. Yes. So the is, fact look, that, the, the, that in Project 2025, it would state that I can do the IVF, on, that's not on, governing stop, my body? Stop. Go ahead. You go. It's you governing go. my body. Go ahead. I'm in the case of, oh, it's murder when it's not even a fully formed human with thoughts. Uh, why does that fetus's life 
matter more than the woman who's carrying it. So this is a con- especially if it's coming to a woman who is unable to take care for that child. Mm-hmm. What kind of life is that fetus going to go through when they are breathing and speaking and thinking, and to come into this world and know that they're not wanted or they suffer in poverty? Um, Grid One Motorsports donated two hundred dollars. Not shocked at all. This panel is cool with murdering children. Suck my t- what an L panel. Sigh. Abdul, get the rocks. Sad all the rocks. It's crazy. Get the rocks. Like, Abdul. I, yeah. It's get just the it makes get me the rocks. Get the rocks. Make me so oh, grateful to be who I am and but not be I do anymore. think that the aftercare for abortions is not a thing, and That's, that yeah. it's not something yeah, because was I wasn't prepared. Thank you, good one. For we'll get what to your I question by the way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I think physically or emotionally, and I think. Hill. But no, I was in person, but I was okay. less than eight weeks. Um, okay. But I, I was lucky and found out right away. I had time. I had time to think about it. But I was homeless right after. So, so. I'm asking because like mm-hmm. you, you didn't go home and you did pass the miscarriage. No, that's and I, really that's traumatizing, and, and yes, dude. Yeah. Yes, and people don't talk about the trauma that you go through. I don't want to talk about it because yeah. I'm ashamed of myself for I it because it was really bad. It was disgusting that I made that choice. But that's my choice, not your guys'. And no, but I do agree that it yeah. is a selfish thing, and mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest that the first when I decided that was the first decision I ever made that was my own. Yeah. So it made me feel like, okay, I'm, I wish I could change for this person, and I wish I could be that person, but I can't. And I do wish I, I would have done adoption stuff, but I, could, yeah. I wasn't in the place. Also, mental health is a huge yeah, me- thing yeah. as well, which yeah. I have PMDD, so when I got oh, pregnant, I, yeah. well, I, we'll, um, was crazy. We can, anyway, <laughs> we're going to incorporate the, the abortion conversation mm-hmm. into tomorrow's um, You picked us up off the street. No, it's all good. good. We were just walking to get tacos. I had no idea we were walking in. It's good. Like I think it's been a very. It's a good panel, right, Andrew? (laughs) Good panel. Yeah, I think it's a fantastic panel. So, thank you guys Um, for letting me be able to talk about that. By the way, because no no one in my life knows about it, because I'm not going to talk about it. No, but that's what I want. We want to create space for people to do that. So, so, anyways, I think. So, anyway, really quick, I did want to go into one thing really quick, but we are going to move it on. Uh, I think it was you, you were saying something about, uh, I, I don't know precisely how you worded it, Andrew brought it up, something about how, where, what's a way in which men don't have yeah. rights over their body? No, no asking, what asking what government policies Is there any would law govern. That prevents you from doing something you want with your own body? Mm. Okay. So I have, I actually have two that kind of relate to bodily autonomy. Uh, but it was posed by you or by Me. who? Well, it was by both, her. both of us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And she that's a question. And then I said Kamala asked that identical yeah. question. And, and is that a, that's a question that you have? Yeah, I can't think of and a single body or well, single law that would well, prevent well. you from doing what you want so, with your body. Circumcision, but you actually feel. <laughs> but, so hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel but passionately. But so is it, is it, is it your well, position but. that there is no way <laughs> that a man lacks? Uh, bodily autonomy. I think if you wanted to do literally anything you want with your body, I don't think anyone in the government's mm. stopping you. And if you can name one thing, let me know because I, I would two. love to learn. Yeah, well, you can't think of anything. Okay. Okay. No one's forcing right. you guys so, to get vasectomy. Hold on. The hold only on, thing I can on. think of is as an infant, you yep. being circumcised, and yep. that is something yeah. so I wholeheartedly am against as well. You can't unalive yourself either. Well, you, can't, it. you can't what? You, you can't unalive well, yourself. Okay, hold on. I mean, but you can. You're not going to jail for it. You'll be dead. Yeah, but it's. Mm-hmm. Hang on. But it's the the, <laughs> you, the you question. The question that you asked wasn't whether you could do something. Oh, that's what I'm asking. No, like, no, no. That's not what it. you're asking because. What you're actually asking is... The government's is, not going to stop you from killing okay, yourself. Okay, you got to not cut me off every time I try to talk. Okay. So, uh, no, the question which you asked was, can you name a law which governs men's bodies that, that, because that's what's happening to women. There's a law governing their bodies. Yes. There's a law that says you cannot unalive yourself. A law you're strictly not, pertaining yes, to men. Yes, you're though. not allowed to do that. So that would be a law that can governs. Do you feel passionate? Do you feel passionate about fighting for your right to kill I yourself? In, in 40 <laughs> because I feel passionate years. about that for men and women. We've got to use a different fucking word. Hold on, we've got to use a fucking different word. We got to use a different fucking word. We got to I would like to actually finish my point here. Yeah, my bad. So when it comes, I mean. While it is not by law a requirement that children are circumcised, feminists constantly make arguments about while there isn't a law, there's a societal culture that uh, mistreats women in this way or privileges men in this way, 
So I think circumcision is actually a fantastic argument when it specifically comes to bodily autonomy as it relates to men. Secondly, there actually is one. So forced military conscription. Mm -hmm. So all men in the United States compelled by law are required to register with a selective service, which in the event of a war would compel them to essentially be cannon fodder in a military conflict. Secondly, even if there wasn't a military conflict, if a man fails mm -hmm. under law to register for the selective service, there are significant ramifications to this. For example, they can't vote. Mm -hmm. They can't. Uh, they are not allowed to have certain federal uh, jobs, federal careers. They can't get student loans. They can loans. be imprisoned and fined. There's a yes. Yeah. It's a felony. Two hundred fifty thousand dollar fine. There's some other potential ramifications. And women are not subject to that, by the way. And uh, and you know what? You know what? I really appreciate you bringing that point up because this is where the point really lies. Here is. You're 100% correct. And the difference mm -hmm. between you and I is that I would fight till the end for that to not be the case for you guys, but you guys would not fight for me, clearly. Why are, well, hold on. Hold I on. would fight till the end to make so, sure that's not, because I completely disagree with no that for men. Men die, should not have well, to be uh, forced. Hold on. I completely wait, agree. Wait, wait. So I'll, I'll fight actually, till the end okay. for you in that's that great. regard. So, first like, off, you. <laughs> men would protect you. I, I, I would. So, you have shifting the goalposts. Yeah, right. first off, you haven't. I don't need men to protect me. I've protected myself. Actually, you do need men to protect you. Really? Whether... From, from who? Other men? Because how I, I can't tell you so how you many times I've protected protect myself. You still need men to you protect you. <laughs> you need them to protect you. I don't through... need you guys to protect well, can me. Can you stop interrupting? You got to allow people <laughs> to actually. I, yeah, I'm, I'm shut. Talk, I'm done. You, you need to allow people to actually speak instead of just constantly interrupting them. Okay. It's very simple. We let you talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. So two things. First, you absolutely do need men to pr protect you. This may be by proxy either through the military or through law enforcement officers. I'm assuming if somebody you know were to be murdered, you would not just protect yourself. You would not investigate it yourself. You would appeal to who? Primarily men who are in law enforcement. I'm assuming unless you just if someone you know who got murdered, you'd hope it wasn't investigated? I would appeal to you know, law enforcement as a whole, not to specifically men in law enforcement. Which is And to be quite honest men. with you, if I, I mean, I don't personally own a gun. Maybe I will one day. I don't know. I, I don't really feel strongly either way at this moment in time about it. But I can tell you, if I need protection, if I own a gun, I don't need your, your muscles. I'm actually, I, I can handle sure. it. Yeah. I don't need, I, I just need, I, here's the thing. <laughs> I need tools. Wait, wait, I don't I need know. men. I need tools. And men hoard all the tools and resources. So I have to ask you guys for those okay, tools. So I don't I just hold on, no, no, hold on, myself. hold on, That's hold true. on. I can use them myself. Hold on. I know how to use them. Men, okay. are, men are stopping women from building guns? No, that's I not what I said. It. Like you're you're taking it literally because you can't look at the bigger picture. I'm saying that like mm. I have always been in a position in every job I've been in school everywhere is that there's a a man who's in power over me that I have to go to to get to get uh, better. I have to go to to get the promotion. I have to go to to convince. Okay, the right no, 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 hold on, hold like, on. Like if hold I on. have the tools stop. myself, you I don't need you because now I have you're, to ask you for them. You need to stop because I know how to use them myself. You're not allowing me to go point by point on this. Now you're talking about promotions and stuff. Let's go back to the draft. So you made two claims there. You made the claim that well. If I was in your position, I would advocate that men not not be drafted. So let's talk about that. Okay. So I know you live in like uh, fairy tale land, where in your world military conflict would never exist, even if women hold. Fairy tale. Even if. That's hold on, hold on. Let world. me finish. Let me finish. In the same way, you're you're strong. Okay. In your fairy tale world, even if women were had all the power held all positions of power, perhaps you think that there would not be any military conflicts. I think this is wrong. This, there would still be military conflicts regardless. So you're saying that you would advocate that the draft, there should be no draft, period. Yes, yes no. what I'm advocating for, because you're right, in anyone's idyllic world, there wouldn't, who wants war? Okay. No one wants so war. So in my war? idyllic world, there, there, there wouldn't be war, sure, but I, I know war is a necessity. I'm very aware of that. I'm not, I'm not saying that we, okay. we can't but survive so, without war, but I'm saying that the people who participate in that war should be able to choose whether they're men or women. But, That's it. If so I have if a son, I, I don't want to know that he's going to be taken against his own will. Like... I feel strongly about protecting my sons equally right. as my daughters. But if I were to tell you, it would just, it, it's almost a waste of time to have a conversation of 
trying to get rid of the draft because the government will <laughs> never relinquish yeah. its ability to call upon its citizenry right. in a situation or a scenario where the country needs to essentially force its citizenry into the defense of the nation. The government, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, will never relinquish this power. Yeah. So assuming that, you can agree that there's no scenario where the, where the draft will never exist. You're that's right. In the society the that we've built, that's what I'm saying is a lot of shit in the society needs to be war, dismantled, okay. dude, because but it doesn't, never it doesn't work. War this is conflict. not the only way that we can work. War, there's many different ways. War and conflict ways. is never going to go away. You're right. It's not. But there's different ways to go about it is my point. And do I have all the answers? No. Okay, but is but the way so, we're doing it currently so, satisfying everyone? No. We need to do something different. That's what I'm saying. We need, And, and that's what is the issue here is I love this country because and I want to make it better. I'm not talking shit about this country. I'm saying there's flaws with it. And I want to help improve it. Okay, but so you're saying I would, I would advocate for you guys, but you guys won't advocate for me. So again, I'll say it again. There's no scenario where the government is going to relinquish their right to draft the citizenry. So then wouldn't you agree that perhaps in this situation, women should also be subject yes. to military That's conscription? Right. Yes, yes, yes. 100%. Okay. It needs I to be totally equal either way. Right. Either everyone it's gets like to choose or no one gets to choose. So, That's yeah. what I'm saying. Would it case, suck? Yes, so the, but, but it would be But fair. despite 100 years of equality when it comes to voting, mm -hmm. women still are not obliged to be subject to military conscription. And so because of this, that is, a, that is precisely one example in which men don't have bodily autonomy. So you're not actually addressing my argument here. You're just saying, well, I would advocate that men should not be drafted. But I'm telling you currently, as a rebuttal to your, uh, as a rebuttal to your point of men don't have bodily autonomy, it's actually quite the opposite. What about, we know mental health sucks in this country for everyone, men, women, children, doesn't matter who you are. But when the military does drafts, I know they don't take people with bipolar, BPD, mm -hmm. all these under, other mental illnesses. So if we're gonna like compare the two between abortion rights and being drafted for the military, what about women who have severe mental deficits, who struggle to live day to day, who necessarily in the drafts wouldn't be drafted but are still forced to carry a child that they mentally or physically are incapable of caring for completely i'm not sure i entirely follow i mean i would assume that if you have some severe mental incapacity whether you're a man or a woman, this would preclude yeah. you from volunteer service and a draft. Yeah, Even in right. so that they're, they're protected in that sense. But I mean, women, when it comes to abortion rights, mm -hmm. right? Jeez. People who suffer from bipolar, all these mental fucking, Ill I'm sorry, illnesses that make it not only hard to function as like a day-to-day -day person, mm -hmm. but as a full parent who is responsible for another living being. Why would they be forced to carry that child to, for, to term if they found out they were yeah, I pregnant later in so, life? So just to summarize this, make sure I'm not straw manning this. What you're saying is, yes, okay, this is true. Uh, men lose their autonomy this way, and mm -hmm. women lose their autonomy this way. But the exemptions that men get is that if they have mental health issues, they, they, they're, they don't have to be, go into military service. Mm -hmm. But women, if they have mental health issues, would still have to bear the child. Yes. So this is not fair, is what you're saying. Y yeah, it's, okay. it's not fair. Now, because... now at least I understand. So that I do have this down correctly, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so what I would say to this is, okay, <clears throat> Fair enough, but you do realize that draft standards, how, they, how they're set, are actually designed to be lowered instantly by necessity. Yeah, I, I'm that, sure if they yeah, need soldiers, if there's a, they're yeah, going to be like, war, oh, he's a little fucked up. Yeah, he's okay, a little fucked we'll up. Take him anyways. In fact, they, they, they will lower the IQ standards significantly, <laughs> yeah. right? They'll lower all standards across the bodies. board. Yeah, they just need bodies. And so now your, your BPD, this and that, oh, you got some medication that'll help you with that? Get your ass to the front line. So... Essentially, yep. these things will be removed via necessity. Mm -hmm. So it's not a disqualifier from you getting drafted, not, well, not even with mental illness. Like in a perfect world, yeah, but not completely. But they don't have that standard for pregnant women. I do. I, I mean, I have really quickly one thing on this, and I'll pass it back to Andrew. Um, so when it comes to the draft, that would be, you'd be forced to do that by the government. The government mm -hmm. isn't forcing you to have sex. To have sex. 
No, but sex is a natural and healthy thing. No one's so. forcing you. Yeah. No one's forcing you, but... There is a bit of a differentiation there. It I happens. mean, that's, that's all my piece, It's though. human nature. I, I feel like... On the topic of sex, I feel like people have made sex such a taboo subject when all that matters is communication and consent. And if everyone's behaving and having sex in a healthy way, everyone's getting tested properly, they're communicating what they have, if they have anything, what partners they've had. I, yeah, don't, I don't feel like sex is something I'm that people sure. should be ashamed yeah, of. Yeah, but I'm not sure <laughs> how sex being natural uh, negates the fact that it's a choice, whereas conscription would not be. Mm -hmm. And pregnancy usually is an entailment of choice. So women who carry pregnancies via essays, for mm -hmm. instance, those are outliers. Those are rare, right? Uh, most pregnancies it are happen not. It, it does. I Listen, won't I'm say not it's disputing not. It. Yeah. I'm just saying that it, that's not the vast, overwhelming majority, not even close. Uh, so taking this into consideration, even if they were to make the essay exemption, mm -hmm. oh, you were essayed? Fine. Then you can have the abortion. And those exemptions do exist. The exemption on the draft, there's still no choice. Whereas the sex is a choice, which leads to the, to the pregnancy. Well, I think the problem... Isn't thing, the people? Uh, I think the problem isn't the people; it's the government who wants to tell us what to do. You have to go in the draft. I have to have this baby. I think mm -hmm. that in itself is what's wrong, not the fact that oh, men have these privileges and men have this and that. The government set that up, not each individual person. We are merely here, existing in this country, based off we what we've been taught and told and learned through thousands of years yeah, but of you have translated a representative scripts. government so they're representing the will of you that's isn't that what the point is but are they really representing every single person in this country well i mean but that would be in the realm of impossibility regardless of the government archetype you that's had. why I feel every person should have the right to choose what they want to do with their person. Obviously, murder is wrong. You can't do something else, something to someone else that's, you know, murder, you're killing them, uh, not respecting boundaries, well, consent, you, all this shit. Do you mind if I test this, test this logic real quick? Yeah. So you have kids. Mm hmm Okay. So if, uh, your kid is an adult. When, when they reach an adult mm -hmm. stage, they should be able to do what they want, right? Pertaining to themselves, yes. Pertaining to themselves. So your kid runs into your room, pulls out a heater, puts it up to their head and says, this is it, mom. I'm doing it and I'm an adult. Are you going to let her? I mean, at that point, that's someone you would need to get help for. Yeah, yeah. I don't think any logical, normal person, any logical person who isn't they? going through something, yeah. that goes back to mental health. Mental health is fucking... Well, wait a second, wait a second. So they so not everybody should have the right to do whatever they want. Then he has the right. Yeah. Is so it, then why would you try to stop him? Because I love them. Right. So wait. So your love for them, you would interject and take that right away from them, right? Out of love for them. I would offer them help. Yeah. Okay. You would offer them help by not letting them do that first. You would do whatever you could so that they put the heater down and didn't do it right then, right? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what Christians are trying to do for you. But, that's okay. your opinion. That's your on opinion. that topic. That on that topic. <laughs> you need a smoke breaker. I gotta take a smoke breaker. Yeah, for real. Right. Can I, mean, I this, touch that back on that topic? Here. Because as someone who grew up in we, religion in a toxic, yeah, we'll toxic. To you did? I did. I, would, I grew up a Jehovah's Witness. So wow. I grew up in a cult. So. Oh. I, I did not oh. celebrate my I, birthday, I, Christmas, nothing for in t my, the majority of my childhood. And the man who. F damn near beat my mother into submission to join him in this cult justified his actions towards his family with the bible i know i can't you guys mentioned we can't say the word on here but yep, starts we, with a yeah. yeah i gotta move it i gotta move it on but that's fine all right the beacon to the panel point my <laughs> Point to a heteronormative, cisgendered white male of privilege who owes society reparations. Don't read this part. Oh, this. I didn't get to oh, read it. That's <laughs> what happened? Just a half Z? Let's okay. read the rest. Well, I... 
I guess, I guess, I guess what, that's what was the big question? guy here. I guess <laughs> that's, <laughs> but what, what I, it I is, owe the reparations, is that it? I, theoretically, I don't believe in reparations. Wait, can you pop it back up? Nope. Oh. It's a one and done. He said, don't read this part. We didn't read it. I'm confused. Fair enough. Fair enough. He put it out there, though. He said, don't read this part. They put it out there. (laughs) You know what is interesting, though, about the abortion debate is, like, how dudes aren't brought in. It's always like, if a woman gets pregnant, it was your choice to have sex, da-da-da. And it's like, bro, is this Mother Mary Immaculate Conception? Like, it takes two to tango. So I feel like we need to bring guys in more. How so? Decision making and he stuck his penis into her and ejaculated. No, he's no, saying like, now no, that he's she's saying, pregnant. He's, right, I no, think he's very means, much involved. He means no, how so bring how, them in. How, how, <laughs> yeah, but like how bring him in how so. <laughs> right, no, I'm I'm saying he's mm-hmm. part of it, but right. she says bring him in. I'm asking how. Yeah. I think conversations like this, debates like this, instead of it being among women, bring guys in. And you know, how, yeah, voting, but, of course. And how? I think that the the reality is, like again, like all of these topics, most people actually lie in the middle on this, and it's not an extreme of you're a murderous b- baby killer this or thing, what's good and bad. Like how do exactly, we define that? Exactly, exactly. And you know, and by and someone mentioned that Roe v. Wade is gone, and I don't know if you, most of you guys probably know this. It's not gone; it just wasn't codified right mm-hmm. on the federal level, so it's it's kicked down to the states. But you know, I think voting and you know, democracy, okay. man. That's what, what if a man wants the kid, but she wants an abortion? Does he not get a say in that? Because she gets the ultimate that happens, say. So. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, that happens. That's where it gets complicated, right? right I don't of see things as black and white. Exactly. And I don't think you should just look at. Because that's complicated. That's not. That's not your. It is your body, but that's someone else's kid. Yeah. So you have to find balance, and that's why I think there that's should be more resources for people to mm-hmm. get through pregnancy and be able to give the child away if they want yeah. to do that. But well, if that's the father why I think, primarily wanted to take care yeah. of it, you know, and the and, mother. But there has and to the, be both. You know what I at mean. At the root of all both. this, and Andrew said it before he got up, but it really is when it comes down to it and boils down to it really is a religious debate i'm a pro-choice girl again within reason i think after you know a certain amount of time it shouldn't be until term that's my point of view i recently had a debate with a very pro-life you know christian conservative and they truly believe that this is where life starts so i can i disagree but again i can respect his that's his point of view is his point of view so, you know, I think a, a, a lot of this boils down to that and the morality of that. But, you know, that's what worse, we have in this country. That's one freedom we do have is freedom of religion. And everyone that's yeah. reserves right. the right to practice right. their own yeah. religion without forcing it on anyone else. All right, like, I got a couple questions. Of yeah. church and state if you, you want to have a country where you have a representative government, then the government's going to have to represent the, the will of the people. If the major will of the, the people, people, if the major will of the people, the majority block of people are religious, they have every right to put people in systems of government power who share the religious then views. Then why does it say separation of it church? It doesn't and say state. separation of church and state anywhere in the Constitution. Nowhere, nowhere, not okay. any place. So Christians are the superior be, and most valued religion. people, and no one else's religious rights. I'm sorry, I didn't say anything like that. Freedoms. What I said specifically. Well, you did because you were like, "We're doing you a favor." What I said was this. <laughs> so, well, just like she's by doing, nature, that was just like she's doing her, just like she's doing her kid a favor. She's superior to him. What part? Saving them from saving them from unaliving themselves. That's because I'm she's not superior. superior. I want to help them. Give right, them exactly. But Same you're not logic. giving me support <laughs> exactly. in making choices for me. How would you? Based you're off not your help. religion. Okay, so that's your right. So, okay, that's to great. Choose to practice But it's not your kid's right. My kid can do whatever Ex- they want. Unless he come in and do that, then you're going to try to stop Is him. Is it going to fucking hurt? Would I be traumatized and broken? Absolutely yes. So you're changing your answer, and you would just I'm let your kid. I'm not changing my answer. Okay, because so I never said I would. Physically Again. stop them. I said. You wouldn't what try I to said. physically stop them. I said I would talk to them and give them the support okay, they great. need they say, Mom, to help they them. They say, you know what, Mom, I got all this support. I, I got it all, and I, I just don't want to change my mind. I'm still going to do it. And you know it. what? In a perfect world where it had to come to that decision, if my child is suffering that much, I don't want them to suffer. Whatever makes them feel better. There's assisted medical suicides in other countries right now. Whatever, you know, if they. I hope to raise a child who isn't that broken from the society or things that have happened to him to choose to act on that. Mm -hmm. But 
If my child is fucking suffering, suffering, their brain, whatever is wrong, they physically cannot take living. It is a torture every day. Who am I to tell them, you can't do that because I'm going to hurt? Explain well, that's an extreme. You guys are really let comparing. Us, you guys are comparing Let us finish the exchange. Let us finish the exchange. Let us finish the exchange. It's two different things. So it's not two different it things. It actually is. Cause Hold on. Okay, no, no, so no, no. we'll Hold finish on. the exchange. So anyway, uh, so to dive into this, you have just described... Right? Every mother consoling their son or daughter after a horrific breakup where they are so emotionally in pain they just can't take it and they don't see an end to the suffering in sight and it's, they feel like it's going to last forever. But you say no. My intuition, this is going to stop one day. Now it might not. It might not actually stop one day, but you just intuitively make that decision for them, don't you? You say, no, it's going to stop one day. So if you want to unalive yourself over this right now, mm -hmm. I'm going to fucking stop you, right? 100%. Right? I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna tell him what he can and can't do. Am I gonna? Per am I gonna tell him that I would be fucking? I would be a mess. I would be broken. I don't know if I could continue on without my child being there. But so you're. Am, so wait. So I, I just gonna, want to make sure I get this right. Your kid at 18 years old comes to you. It's been 18 weeks of just agonizing, suffering for them emotionally because Mrs. Wright left him. Okay. And he's right in front of you, and he says, you know what, Mom? I'm just going to put an end to this. And he pulls out that heater up to the head, right? That's what he wants, and you're going to respect that? I'm going to say, what can I do to help you? Yeah, and he says, nothing. This is what I want. And that's where you get them 50 Hang on, hang on. Let her finish. <laughs> that's... Let her finish. That's shit. That's just like grandiose stuff that is out of my control. I can't tell so the So you wouldn't try to stop him? Or you would? Am I going to physically go and grab Yeah, would you physically gun? grab it? Sure, of course. I'm going to grab him, not the gun. So I'm you're going to try him. to stop I'm, him. I'm going to try to talk to him. Yeah. Yeah, what I want you're, you're to... You're going to do everything you can to stop that. why do you or anyone who identifies as Christian uh -huh. think they know what is best for, for me? For the same reason for that me. you think you know what's best for that 18-year-old. You don't know me. This, yeah, here's the thing. This is Regardless of if I knew you or didn't know These you, I know what don't... is moral and what is not moral. But she's, that's an opinion. she's talking. Okay, this <laughs> is this is kind of what I was getting at. Your argument and you're entitled, of course, to your views are predicate is predicated on the fact that a fetus is a living is a full-blown human living being, right? Uh, we're, we're, people we're, disagree we're, we're, with you. We're actually you. past that. Okay. So we're into people, the internal but critique people dis, portion. But people out there, whether yeah, you I like didn't to hear know. or not, disagree people with disagree you. With she's me. talking I didn't know about... That. A f <laughs> wow. That was well, some incredible like, insight. You're acting like you don't. I'm, I need to move I'm acting like we're having an argument, which is by its nature a disagreement. Anyone with common sense understands. I do have to move things on. 